Good morning, everybody. Happy hump day. Time to uh, grab your cup and let's talk about loving your little ego. <laughs> I'll wait a minute, make sure everybody is here, saying hello to everyone. Good morning. Hey, Gordon. Good morning. Good morning, Brandy. Nice to see you. Hi, everybody. So, Get your cup. You guys have your cup? <laughs> Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Lori. Nice to see you. Hi, Cindy. Good morning. All right, everybody. We are going to talk about loving your little ego. So, good morning, Rachel. Uh, so, ego comes up a lot in life, you know, when we're talking about surrendering. Good morning, Erica. When we're talking about surrendering or when we're talking about our pride, we're talking about our self-doubt, those are two aspects of the ego. We have the big ego, which is the overconfident self, the cocky self, um, and it is needed. It is, it's a survival mechanism. Uh, some people take it a little too far, but that part is needed. But the little ego is that insecure self, right? That self-doubt, that, good morning, Erica, hi, Connie, that part of yourself that, that doesn't believe in yourself, you know? And we can all have that negative self-talk. We can all have that aspect of that little ego that really holds us back in so many ways. Good morning, Amber, hi, Patty. And when we can understand where that little ego is coming from, we can actually really find a way to embrace it, to love our little ego, right? Good morning, Deanna. Hi, Nicole. I mean, in all honesty, your little ego just needs to be loved. And when you take time to nurture that little ego, now that's different than feeding it. You don't want to feed that little ego with more negative self-talk. You don't want to feed it with uh, more worry, more anxiety, right? More lack of confidence. We don't want to feed it in that way. What we want to do is feed it with love, nurture it, let ourselves know we are worthy, you know? So when you're doubting yourself, just take a moment and say, of course I'm worthy, you know? Why is someone else more worthy than me, right? Sometimes you'll do that. You'll sit there and compare yourself to someone and, and we don't need to, right? You are your beautiful, magnificent gift. You are your essence. And when you own that essence, when you love that essence, when you love all of you, that's when your little ego can actually become one of your best friends, right? It keeps you in check a little bit. <laughs> but if we remember that our little ego is that unloved part of ourself, that's really all it is. It's that unloved little part. Maybe it's that little girl or that little boy that, that didn't get enough hugs or, you know, didn't feel supported or um, just had tragic events that, that make you, maybe it's past life stuff, you know, there's all, all sorts of reasons why that little ego can get out of hand. <laughs> but when you feed it, when you feed it with more little ego, more negativity, more self-doubt, oh my goodness, you, you all know, you all just get in your head so much. Good morning, Denise. Nice to see you. Hi, Dom. We all do, right? We all can just get so crazy, so worried, so in our head, next thing you know, you've taken yourself out of something before you even put yourself in something. <laughs> it's like, at least give yourself a chance. But when you find that, that little ego, when you find it creeping in, rather than beating yourself up, rather than talking negatively to yourself, just take a moment and show yourself, show that little ego some love, some care, some nurturing. You know, mother it in a way that really balances you, that, that gives you that level of confidence, that gives you those moments of saying, yes, I can do this. Yes, I am worthy. 
No, I'm not going to settle. Yes, I'm going to go for this opportunity. You know, good morning, Danielle. So it's this experience that we have, right? It, it is this experience that we have. Um, and these struggles, you know, we, we all have struggles, right? Some people think their struggles are more important than someone else's, but that's just not the case. It, it really isn't. We all have struggles because it's all part of our path. It's part of our purpose. It's part of that learning curve, right? It's part of what we set ourselves up for in one way, uh, one way or another, right? So when we just accept that, when we really kind of say, all right, I'm going to go with the flow, but what I'm not going to do is take myself out of this. What I'm not going to do is talk my way out of this experience. I'm not going to talk my way out of falling in love. I'm not going to take my way out of having success. I'm not going to talk my way out of having financial abundance because you're worthy of all of it. You're already worthy of all of it. So there's no earning it. It's already given to us. It's just a matter of are we taking ourselves out of it. And when we learn to love ourselves, nurture ourselves, take care of that small part of you that aches, that hurts, that has a desire to feel wanted, has a desire to feel needed, has a desire to have an impact, when we feed that and nurture it, well, my goodness, just think of what you're, what you're going to accomplish, right? You're going to accomplish happiness. You're going to accomplish fulfillment. You're going to accomplish gratitude. You know, you're going to accomplish a sense of well-being, of balance. And again, th this isn't something we have to continuously create a battle to achieve. It's simply loving ourselves enough to say, I am worthy. My little ego, need, my little need, ego needs some love. So what you can do, you know, try some exercises when you find yourself uh, getting tail spinning, getting into that head spin, getting into those thoughts that are going wild, that are going crazy. <laughs> and, and, and you're like, whoa, before you go off the deep end, take a few moments, breathe. First of all, breath is so important. Breath, mindfulness, become present, wiggle your toes on the ground in that moment, right? Really ground yourself, all right? So take those few moments just to kind of center then what you can do is sit there and just put your hand on your heart. Just put your hand on your heart. Connect to your higher self and say, what do you need? What do you need today? What do you need to hear? What do you need to feel? You know, I'm here for you. I'm not going to let you down, right? I'm showing up for you, right? You just tell your little ego that I'm showing up for you. We're in this together. We got, we got this. <laughs> Ain't nobody, <laughs> right? And and in those moments when you do that, you're going to find a place of comfort. Just take a moment, all of you, just take a moment. Put your hand over your heart. Just take that moment and feel that. You know, just your own hand over your heart, right? And just say to yourself, I'm here for you. I got you. I got you. D doesn't that just give you an overall sense of comfort just in that moment? It does me. So try it. Try these things. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, we want support from others. But we certainly have to look for it within first. And when we can know how to nurture ourselves, when we can learn how to love ourselves, we can certainly hold on to who we are, own who we are, celebrate who we are, and really share who we are. All right, so that is your inspirational talk for today. <laughs> Loving your little ego, all right? Um, and thank you. And tomorrow, uh, I will be on live with Colby Rebel. It is our date night rapid fire readings, which I always love those. It's just you and me, and, and we're going to take... Uh, I'm going to take callers, answer questions. So come hang out with me, please. It's at five o'clock. And remember, everybody, you know, you got this one shot. Today's your one shot, your one opportunity to live this day fully. So get out there and shine your light and shine it bright. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. 
Lots of love to everybody. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for sharing. And thank you for your love, your light. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.